Um, coach, first game uh, this week on Friday, you got all the you know, kids coming from the surrounding area. Uh, just kind of talk about, um, I guess, team this year as a whole, what you're going to work on Friday, the next vision game. Just kind of like that. I mean, first thing we're going to work on is winning. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think that's probably the most important thing. Uh, we've been kind of building up and building up, trying to get better for Friday's game and then for next week's game. So we'll use Friday to get in tune with each other, try to get everybody a chance to get some minutes, and see what we need to do to get ready for Louisville, which is the following week. And we've been working hard at this point. we got a long way to go. We're definitely on the right track. Our guys compete. They're learning the guard. They're learning our philosophies and our systems. And I think Friday will be good for them to put the jerseys on, run up and down the floor with a bunch of people in the gym to see how we play. Because it's hard to judge anything before you play the game, but what do you think your strengths are right now in your team? I don't know how many strengths we have. I mean, I, I think we're offensively gifted. I think we can be hard to guard. When we've got probably five or six, seven guys who can make shots from the outside. I think our understanding of how to play is, is pretty good. Um, we play hard, we compete, and, and, I, and we do that a lot better than we did last year at this point. So I think that's definitely a strength. I mean, like I said before, we've done a lot of good things in practice. We've done a lot of bad things too, but we've definitely got things to build on and to get where we, where we need to go. Coach, talk about, um, I guess, kind of the curse I just said, of the program the past few years since you've been around, uh, even when Lester was here. The lack of a like a big man, the lack of a, just a big presence down low. I mean, it hurt you guys even when Lester was here in the OBC tournament that year. Um, and there's not really a dominant big man on the team this year. Talk about, I guess, what this team is going to do to combat that your schemes um, as far as making up for that deficiency. Right. Well, we've actually signed three bigs: six okay. eight two forty, six seven two thirty, and six seven two fifty. So hopefully those three guys can combat our lack of size in the past. We've we ran through a lot of in injuries. We've been through some tough times. Some guys academically couldn't play. And so this year, for the first year in a long time, we've, we've got a lot of depth down there. We can throw up a bunch of different guys in the paint. We can play a bunch of different ways with those bigger guys. So I think we'll benefit from it. But we, we, we're definitely not deeper than we've been. Who's your leader? It, it depends on the day. <laughs> uh, we count on probably one or probably four guys to lead us on the floor. Obviously, Terrence Smith who had a great year last year. He's a sophomore for Russell. Uh, he's kind of a quiet person off the floor, but he's starting to be more vocal on it, kind of a leader by example. And our guys like to follow him. Chris Richardson's been really good at doing what I ask him and making sure everybody's on the same page. Amari Miner's been really good at that, too. And Troy King and Mike Leibo, those guys have been through the wars. They've been through the battles of the OBC, at least for a year. And those guys know what I want. They know when I want it. And they've been really good about stepping up to assume that leadership role. They've all got qualities. You just got to kind of refine those qualities. And we're, we're trying to do that. Record-wise, showed an improvement vastly from the first year of state. You talk about how you want to carry that over into this third season. We built a lot of momentum last year, especially the last few games, I mean, getting into the tournament, beating TSU, and then struggling a little bit against Tennessee Tech. But down the stretch, man, I thought we played really, really well. We played good basketball, especially on both ends. So what we've tried to do is start right there and continue to move forward. We've really focused on trying to guard people. And we've really focused on taking good shots, uh, sharing the basketball, and trying to move forward into the next level. And I think that's what's been holding us back, is just sharing it, learning to guard consistently. But we definitely had the groundwork laid, especially the last few games. Yeah, Coach, with the momentum that you did have at the end of last season, how much of that do you think actually carries over to this year? I think it carries over a lot because it makes the guys hungry. They've experienced a little bit of success. They know what it takes to win at the highest level. And our off-season workouts last year carried into the summer and then the preseason workouts this year showed that. I mean, our guys are working very hard. They, they've done a good job of getting themselves to the point to be ready to play because they got a little taste of it. So. From that taste, we're just trying to continue to improve, continue to get better. Our guys have done a good job at this point. What about the, the chemistry on this year's team? I think the chemistry is really well, we're really good. Last year with seven guys, seven freshmen, those guys kind of got thrown to the wolves together. So they had to learn to fend for themselves, they had to learn to fight for themselves, and they did a good job of that. You throw six new guys into that mix, and right now we're really gelling off the floor. We still got some work to do on it. We're still learning to share the ball on it and learning how to trust each other's tendencies and our abilities. But off the floor, 
those guys get along. And I think they respect each other, which is a big part of being a team. So right now our chemistry is good, it's, it's, but again, we haven't played any games, so it's hard to tell. Talk a little bit about the conference as a, as a whole. We've got the new coach at Murray State. The big man's gone. There's more head. So is it more wide open, or do you think it's uh, not maybe? How do you look at the conference? I think top to bottom is probably as tough as it's been in 10 years. Austin P was picked to win it, but any given night, it could be any team. I don't think there's any easy nights, whereas in the past, my first couple of years, you may, you may have had a couple of cupcakes on there where you knew you could get one. And for a lot of years, we were that team. Uh, but now, I think every night you step on the floor, any team can beat any team, and it makes it more fun. It's a very strong lead. Uh, what Moorhead lost in their height, they'll make up for in their toughness and their size. I think Coach Palm will do a heck of a job at Murray. He's been there for a while. So the league is as tough as it's been. I mean, we're excited about it. What we're going to see, I guess, from you uh, this year, what, what schemes um, are we looking at, looking at running gun, are we looking at slowing it down, using the clock? Our philosophy this year will be more of a score early, score late type philosophy. And we like to score early in the shot clock. If we can get an easy basket or a layup early in the shot clock, we'll take it. If not, we want to score late in the shot clock. We want the defense to have to guard us. We, want, we don't want to take quick shots. We want to take great shots. And, and I, I think so far, that's been a little bit of a struggle. Most guys are used to playing either way, but we're, we're kind of trying to play the best of both worlds. So we'll slow it down some. We'll pick our spots. We'll run when we can, run when we have to. For the most part, we just want to take great shots, kind of control the tempo. Coach, is that based more on personnel or the opponents or a little bit of both? I think it's just based, based more on us and what we need to do to be successful. But for us, we can't run up and down the floor. Our guys, decision making is not at that level just yet. And even though we've had a year in Division One basketball, we're still young. So we'll slow it down some so they can help. We'll help them read the defense a little better. We'll help them know their spots, pick their spots where they can get easy baskets. So I think to be successful in this league, I think you got to be able to play half court offense. I think you got to be able to play half court defense. The more, the more easy baskets you get, the more successful you'll be. So we'll pick our opportunities, but we'll, we'll, we, we know we got to grind it out when we need to. Coach, talk a little bit about your uh, coaching staff, people surrounding you on a daily basis. Well, these guys, and Cornelius Jackson is assistant head coach, and Dylan Dudley is kind of our director of scouting and player development, and Antoine Holloway. We've got a new assistant who's a GA, and Andre Sirwa Razabal has been here a little bit. And I think these guys do a heck of a job, one, with relationships. Those guys have recruited everybody on our on our uh, roster. They've developed deep relationships with all those guys. Especially when you talk about recruiting, you got to have great relationships, and those guys are, are are the best at that. From a player development standpoint, they go above and beyond. Whether it's watching tape, or working guys out, or whatever it is, I think they do a really really good job of being there for the players. And as an assistant coach, especially, it's very very important. Anything else for Coach?